Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another chat video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a couple weeks of weigh-ins and also just some things that I have learned about losing weight over 50 compared to when I was in my 30s. So if you're new here, first of all, let me say welcome. And if this is your first time seeing one of my chat videos, I do wanna let you know that sometimes my chat videos can kinda of go all over the place. I don't have an agenda, I don't have a script. I basically, like today, I had a little bit of time that I could film and wanted to share my way in, but for the most part, I just speak from the heart. Kinda of just a casual conversation with my friends. So grab your drink, grab your snack, something to eat, and let's sit down and have a chat. So the last time I did a chat video <laughs> was where I had it kind of in two parts because I did a chat video, then we ended up having company, and then I ended up with laryngitis. Thank God the laryngitis is over. That lasted probably a good week before I really was much better to be able to kind of do some of my videos. So thank you all for your patience for that. So I believe I'm looking down because I've got my phone here, pulling out my Weight Watchers app. Which by the way, if you want tutorials on the Weight Watchers app, let me know in the comments what would interest you as far as what you wanna learn about it. I did film a video, but I don't have it edited yet, and that's to show how to create a recipe in the app. I did a video on that a couple years ago, but it's kind of outdated. It was when Weight Watchers had a different program, so I thought it was time to update it. I know a lot of people have been asking me about how to create. I've had a, actually a couple emails from a couple of you asking how to, you know, that it doesn't seem right when you're building it. It seems like you're doing something wrong. So I'm gonna walk you through those steps. So I think that might be maybe the next video after this one. I'm not really sure. I have kind of my videos all over the place. So let me know in the comments if there are other parts of the Weight Watchers app that you'd like a tutorial on, um, whether it's just basic, you know, how to track your food or anything like that. The one I filmed with uh, creating the recipe, I do have a couple little things in there, added things that are just things that I've noticed on the app that I, even I didn't realize you could do, so I'm gonna share those with you. But I do wanna kinda share some more because there's just so much information in there. So the last time I chatted was from my January 5th weigh-in, which was down 4.2 after being up five pounds during the month of December. So in the month of December, I weighed in the beginning of the month and then I weighed on December 30th and I was up five pounds through the whole month of December, which honestly, I did not think that was too bad. And then I ended up January 5th, I was down 4.2. And then I've had two weigh-ins since then. So I had January 12th and January 19th. So today, as I'm filming this, it is January 20th. So yesterday I weighed. So January 12th, I was down 1.2. And yesterday, I was down 1.6. So that is a total of seven pounds for the month of January so far. So I mentioned before my weekly weigh-ins, I'm doing more as kind of like a guide, but I'm really gonna go by my monthly weigh-ins. So I just wanna see what I lose for the whole month. So if you're not familiar with the last couple of years with me, I have pretty much been in a maintain. I just decided that I just needed to find what worked for me. I needed to figure out my body and really needed to heal my relationship with food. I didn't want to look at food as good and bad anymore. So that brings me to talking about weight loss over 50 and some of the things that I have noticed since when I lost weight in my 30s. I lost 93 pounds on Weight Watchers in my 30s. I lost weight by over restricting working out every single day. So I went to Curves. I don't know if a lot of you, I don't even know if they have Curves anymore. Let me know in the comments, do they still have the Curves? It's like where you do circuit training. Six days a week, I was going to Curves. So I'd go to Curves in the morning, and then I would do a workout at night. Curves in the morning, eat very low during the day, and then I would do a workout at night, usually on my, it wasn't an elliptical, it was kind of like a glide machine. That's what I used at my heaviest. And then after that, I started doing some of the DVDs, like Weight Watchers had some DVDs and I think uh, self-preventative, self. I had a bunch of DVDs that I would do workouts with. So 40 minutes at night of a workout after I had done the 30 minute circuit in the morning. So over an hour 
a day, six days a week, I was working out and I was not eating a whole lot. I went through quite a few years of avoiding social events, avoiding, I remember, I remember times when even our children were small. We had a fifth wheel back then when the kids were small and I had, you know, one of the fifth wheels with the bunk in the back. And I remember there being some weekends that I, I don't want to say I didn't want to go camping, but it was almost like, oh no, if I go camping, I'm going to overeat. And I don't know, I don't know what it was, but there, there were just things that I would, I wouldn't, I would find excuses to not go out to dinner. I would find excuses to, um, you know, if we're going to have a cookout, then it can only be certain foods there, or I had to be in charge of the food. And I swear every time I do these chat videos, I get halfway through and my battery dies. So to say that I more than likely messed up my metabolism in my 30s is an understatement. I clearly was working out way too much and eating way too little. So I was only eating my minimum amount of points. I can't remember what program it was back then. This was around 2003, 2004 when I lost my weight the first time. So. I don't know what program we were doing then. I do remember that you had like five points that you could carry over and like you could go back and forth, but I don't know. Anyway, it was still points though. So I was eating my minimum amount of points. I was afraid to use those weeklies. The only day that I didn't, wasn't really afraid to use the weeklies is the day that I weighed in. Other than that, I, I was afraid and definitely not the day before weigh-in. Nothing was allowed to happen the day before weigh-in. We couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't go to dinner. We could not do anything because I had to weigh in the next morning and it had to be with, you know, no sodium in my body, nothing. I couldn't, I just couldn't have anything like that. I do have to say I am really motivated this year. Uh, probably more than I've been in the last couple of years. I turned 50 a year, ooh, a year and a half. I'll be 52 this year. 52 in August this year. So ever since though I turned 50, things were different mentally for me, things were different physically, and I needed to figure everything out for myself. I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like being in weight loss mode anymore, but I still wanted to learn about health. I still wanted to eat healthy. So I ended up putting my Weight Watchers app in maintain. And that was in 2021. And then in 2022, I went through some other things where I really kind of wanted to try out intuitive eating, blah, blah, blah. I've mentioned this in previous chat videos. So when Weight Watchers came out with this new program in, what was it, this past November, I decided, okay, I want to go all in with Weight Watchers again. I've always loved Weight Watchers. Don't get me wrong. I've always loved Weight Watchers, but I felt like I wasn't eating enough before. So when I said I was going to do Weight Watchers this time, my goal was, like I said last in my last video, was just see how much I can eat. How many points can I eat? It used to be before that I had it in my mind that, oh, if you're going to touch your weeklies, don't go over half of them. Only eat half. And now I have been eating all my points. I'm eating all my weeklies. So looking back and realizing now how I'm losing and what I'm eating, I really feel like the last couple of years were actually a blessing in disguise. I feel like by me kind of putting my weight loss on the back burner and just really trying to figure out my relationship with food, taking my course to become certified as a nutrition coach, and just learning everything that I could about food, about nutrition. I feel like the last couple of years were a blessing in disguise because I honestly feel by me putting my app in maintain like I did and even during that period of intuitive eating where I didn't do too well and <laughs> gained back some of my weight, I almost, I don't regret that because I feel like I feel like I got some of my metabolism back, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm able to eat more now than I used to two, three years ago. I just feel like for me, after turning 50 and after kind of going through everything in the last couple of years, I, I truly feel like maybe I'm onto something. Maybe my metabolism is coming back. By eating normally and working on my relationship with food, and fueling my body, listening to the hunger cues. You know, it, I, I've mentioned before that in the morning, 
I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat breakfast. I'd be like, I'm not hungry. I don't get hungry until like 11 o'clock. But the truth is I usually would wake up hungry, which I read means that your metabolism was working. I don't know how true that is. But sometimes I would wake up in the morning, but because it was just a, a habit that the only thing I had in the morning, first thing in the morning was coffee, that kind of masked my hunger. Once I started drinking coffee, I wasn't hung I didn't have those hunger I wasn't hungry anymore. My stomach wasn't growling anymore. So it was kind of like I would ignore the you know those signs in the morning. Now that I'm waking up, I'm drinking a glass of water and I'm listening to my my body like okay, yes, I want something to eat, whether it's just something little, a little bit of cottage cheese and a little bit of fruit or just something to have before I have my coffee. So I'm really motivated this year. I think probably for the first time in my life, I'm really appreciating my relationship with food. I'm not looking at food as good and bad. I'm not 100% there yet. Uh, I know that you know. hopefully someday I will get there. I'm happy that I'm back in weight loss mode and I'm happy that not only am I in weight loss mode, but the scale is moving. Even though, I've said a million times, I don't wanna focus on the scale. I wanna focus on how I feel as long as I'm still feeling the way that I've been feeling with the way that I've been eating, the way, you know, mentally, physically, everything. And being much more kind to my body, being more forgiving of myself, not calling foods good and bad. And I mentioned before that I may take some breaks throughout the year, put my app in maintain, just to kind of take a little break from weight loss. You know, I, I feel like that might help to avoid plateaus and to avoid going backwards. So I'm gonna just keep it in weight loss mode for maybe three months and then I might put it for a month in maintain and just see what happens. But the fact that the scale is going with me, I gotta admit, it definitely feels good. So let me know in the comments how your January is going. And I don't mean just the scale. Let me know in the comments what you're doing this month to make yourself feel positive, to make yourself feel good about yourself. What healthy habits are you working on? Are you working on sleep? Are you working on nutrition? And remember, no matter what, you have to take care of you first. You cannot help anybody else until you take care of you. And you, my friend, are worth it. I hope you have a wonderful week. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up. If you're new, I would love for you to be part of the family. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.